let's start at the beginning. Um, let's start about you getting into the industry and yeah. getting in at 18. And how was that for you? Getting in at 18, it was really kind of just like a spontaneous decision. Um, at first, I was just like hosting parties and then I just stumbled into like hosting an after party for Exotica and ended up winning Miss Exotica. And then, you know, lots of people offering me things. And so did you start off like modeling then? No. So I was like a club promoter. So okay. I like hosted parties, like dance on speakers, you know, like okay. sold tickets to like concerts and stuff like that. So I was just really deep into the nightlife in Dallas. Mm -hmm. So um, just a little tiny, cute 18-year-old, you know. I would host like little after parties. I was just in with the DJs and with the go-go girls. So I just was, I don't know, they're like little girl just following around. Mm -hmm. And the owner of the Crown Plaza, he really loved me and he wanted me to like help them host an after party and kind of just like threw me in. Like we went to the convention to like promote the party and um, the girls, like we were dressed really provocatively. And some girls, like, as a joke, put me and my friends in the finals round. I think, I don't know if they were trying to, like, be, like, a little mean about it. Like, it was not supposed to end up how it happened, right? So, like, I went all out. I crowd surfed. I won. And I didn't even do the preliminary rounds, you know? So it was pretty cool. And then I met, like, the disgusting Ron Jeremy. Oh, <laughs> yes. Ron he Jeremy. He is, uh... <laughs> Oh, my God. Very interesting. Yeah. It's actually the first time I ever had met um, a trans model. And I was in the bathroom, and I was like, you're so hot. And she's like, you want to see my dick? And I thought she was joking. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't joking. Wow. And I was like, wow, like really taken aback. But it was like something like I'd never seen before, never experienced. And yeah. Even went to a party after that party. And I was actually crying because, like, we got there, people were hanging out, and then I went to the bathroom, I came out of the bathroom, and all of a sudden, everybody's, like, having sex. And I was so overwhelmed. Like, I started crying. I was like, I didn't know if, like, people were going to, like, expect me to do anything, you know what I mean? And everyone was like, it's okay, it's okay. Like, they took me on the balcony, like, gave me a blunt, and they are like, you don't have to do anything. And I was like, oh, thank God. How long were you in the bathroom for? Not that long. <laughs> well, maybe I was in there for too long because, like, it. I just came out, and, like, it was just wild. Like, yeah. I was just like, oh. <gasps> What? what is happening? Like, I didn't know what to I've, expect. I've walked into an <laughs> accidental swingers party before and been like, oh, this is not what I thought was happening here. I'm Literally. just going to, like, <laughs> see myself out. Thank you. Yeah. It was crazy. But I was still in college at the time. Mm -hmm. So I was still, like, wrestling. I was, like, in school doing my thing. And then, like, the offer came to do solo porn. And I asked the person I was with at the time, like, if they thought that was cool. And they were like, sure, yeah, you should do it. And so I flew to Arizona and I shot with FTV girls. It's like really awkward first time. Yeah, they do a lot of public nudity. How was yeah, that? Yeah, it was just me and him. And he kept wanting me to do like stuff. And he like was recording me like talking on the phone to my mom like real, really in like real time. I don't know. I didn't really have any clue of, like, what was supposed to be, like, expected of me. Yeah, I think he likes to really, because it's your first time, so he's it. trying to really we, get that authentic experience. Dude, like, really, we had done some stuff on the golf course, and he had got sent a letter from that town, like, saying, like, you got to delete that shit. You know what I mean? Um, but it's still all out there. Thank God, like, I didn't get in trouble. Yeah, I know. Yeah. That that public nudity stuff very risky. Yeah, you I would can never do it ever again. Trouble. Like I had went back and shot with him a few times and uh yeah, my last few times with that company were not that great. Yeah. <laughs> I, I left like I, in the middle of I was like I need to be taken to the airport immediately. Yeah. Yeah. What what was not so great about it? So actually my agent had sent me there after I started doing Boy Girl Right and he was like, "Oh, well, he wants to shoot a boy girl with you." Well, midway through the scene, like, I looked up and he was not even recording me. It was like he was fucking me for his own, like, personal enjoyment. enjoyment. He was like, if I bring a camera, then. Yeah, and I was like, oh, it was in his house. You know, like, mm -hmm. so we're up in, like, this mansion in a gated community. Like, it's just me and him, big-ass fucking house. And I am like, 
making up excuses like, oh, you're hurting me. And he's like, oh, you've taken bigger dick than this before. You know what I mean? And I was like, no, like, I need to stop now. And I like, called John. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I called my agent, who was John Stevens at the time. I'm just going to say it anyways. People know. Yeah. But um, he was like, yeah, you can leave. And I was like, he needs to take me to the airport. He got me a flight. He got me out of there. But, like, the car ride there to the airport was so uncomfortable. Like, he was, like, trying to, like, be rude to me and, like, you're being dramatic, blah, blah, blah. But as you know, like, I'm not the type of person to, like, try and make do things. So I am very aggressive if I feel like I need to be. Really? <laughs> yeah. So I was like, bitch, fuck you. Like, take me to the airport now. Like, you don't want to fuck with me. Like, I'm not playing. Like, blah, blah, blah. You know? He's probably not used to encountering that. No. I'm pretty sure he's very used to, like, uh, complicit girls. People mm-hmm. who I think a lot of people in the industry are. Right? I think also, too, especially when you first start. Because it's first time video girls, right? Right. It's- you don't know what to expect and you don't know. And and it's hard to set boundaries, especially when you're young. Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening to bonus Q and A's, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered. And while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.